This is a HeadGum Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of All Fantasy Everything. I am your host, Ian Carmel. Today, we are drafting celebrity sex tapes, so I'm joined by two of the foremost minds on celebrity sex tapes in America. Uh, here sitting with me today in the HeadGum Studios, we have Louis Fertel. Hello, I, Louis. I can't wait to tell my mom that I'm the foremost authority. The, the talking head, the pundit. On Universally this topic. recognized as one of the foremost authorities. Uh, right. The, yeah. uh, 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 right. What well, no. is popular culture? So. No, precisely. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm like, the, like, I'm like the Joan Embry of sex tapes. You, I, are... you bring me into the show. <laughs> And I produce my collection of them. The Joan Embry of celebrity sex tapes. That's a, I want to buy you like a jacket with that sewn onto the back of it. You know, like a like the like a pink lady style. Here jacket. comes a koala holding a sex tape. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> uh, and, and you can hear her there on the other microphone. Not only is Louis for telling you, we're also joined by Sovereign Sire. Sov, how are you doing today? I am excellent. Also, one of the foremost experts on celebrity sex yes. tapes. Yes. Uh, I'm so excited you guys are here. Let me give you credits. Let me give you some plugs really quick. Uh, Lewis, you're a you're a comedian, a writer. You sometimes wrote on, yes, a, a, occasional comedian mm-hmm. when not pontificating on celebrity sex tapes, right? Which uh, is rare. Which yes. is when you have those small windows. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> uh, you're also a writer. You wrote for for the last season of Billy on the Street. Yep, coming up November fifteenth or Such something. Such a yes. fucking amazing show on yeah. the on the new Match game. That's right. That's right. People may know you from your iconic Jeopardy clip. I answered questions one time. I could spend two hours talking to you just about Jeopardy, so we can't dwell on that uh, anymore. Where Fair can enough. people where can people find you on Twitter? Uh, I'm at Lewis Fertel, which is cryptic, I know, but it, it is. is also my name. What so. is, what's the meaning there? I know, right? <laughs> it's an acrostic poem. It's re- yeah, it's really <laughs> lascivious. <laughs> it's a Sestina. Yeah, so, <laughs> It's the your your Twitter handle is the plot of the new uh, Tom Hanks Angels and Demons. Type yes, movie, right. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. With a lot of Dakota Riggs, yeah. uh, Felicity Jones. <laughs> Sovereign, you were a, you're a stand-up comedian. You're also a writer. You yes. were you were in the you were a porn star. I was yes. So as well, ex- extra expertise. Recently retired. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Putting your jersey up in the rafters. Yes. Uh, wait, you you have you have your own podcast, which we have called Observations with Sovereign Sire. Yes. I was a guest. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I love doing it. And uh, you also host a monthly show here in Los Angeles. Yeah, I host a variety show out of the Steve Allen Theater called Cobra Juice. And yeah. I have a co-host, Kyle Shire. And uh, we just had Mark Marin, and we're having on... Who did I just tell you was the next? We're uh, having Jackie November 12th, Cation. Jackie Cation, Theo Vaughn, yeah. Alan Strickland-Williams, among yeah. others. Yeah. That's fun. amazing. Yeah. Uh, where can people find you on social media? And uh, if you have a website you want to plug, too. Uh, SovereignSire.net is my website. That's all my upcoming shows. All my everything is going on there. And then on Twitter, I live there. So SovereignSire on Twitter. And that's I'm on there 40, 50 times. Today. All right. Fantastic. I'm always available. <laughs> always available on Twitter. <laughs> Yeah. Always vague. Give away the secrets. Yeah. <laughs> Make like, us look yeah. stupid. If, you're, if, you right. need, if you need to get my attention, just at me. <laughs> what she means to say is she's very exclusive, very hard to get a hold of. Right. If she replies, consider yourself lucky. She doesn't understand the phone. Yeah. It doesn't even <laughs> no. make sense. Yeah. yeah. People to help you through it's... it. Uh, as always, you can find me at, uh, at Ian Carmel or www.iancarmel.com. I just got a new website. I'm so excited about it. It's gorgeous. And it made, it made my week. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. Was it through Squarespace? It was. It is through Squarespace. Yeah, I love it. My ex girlfriend made it. We but we we were still dating when she started making it, and then like a year and a half later, it's finally done. The relationship's over, but the website will stand as a as a, a testament. Yeah, to you could sell that pilot. Yeah. I could sell. Yeah, <laughs> just like her, just going through like really sad sort of Bonnie Vare type music, <laughs> sipping tea, making Coding. my website. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Squarespace will probably sponsor it. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. All right, we're not sponsored by Squarespace though, so fuck them until they get on. No, I'm just joking. We'd love to have you, Squarespace. <laughs> uh, they're fantastic, and my website is fantastic. So thank you for that. We getting way off track. We are here for one reason and one reason only. Yeah. We are drafting celebrity sex tapes. Yes. This is I this is so fun. Before we do that, we have to determine the draft order. Lewis Sovereign, you are going to play rock paper scissors. And it's rock, paper, scissor, shoot. You're going to throw on the last one. Gotcha. I will narrate it. And whoever wins will pick the draft order. Okay. Are you ready to Dear go? God. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> it's about to start. And it started. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Lewis wins with the rock over Sovereign no. Scissors. <laughs> and and the, scissor. Enjoy the patriarchy, <laughs> honey. <laughs> okay, I had to scissor. <laughs> 
You had to say there. What well, you thought you were a tight? Well, no, I mean, you says it still all the time. What am I talking about? Uh, <laughs> it, it, inappropriate. I, I, I feel that you just felt made like it, it was inappropriate. so weird. You it's just, really weird no. in here now, right? You can no. I'll go. It's a sexy place. <laughs> I should go. It's a sexy I'll go. place. Could, could you Fine. flee? Yeah. I will. I'll flee. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's a very sexy room covered in soundproofing uh, with exposed pipes. I, uh, exposed pipes could be sexy. Yeah. All right, Lewis. It is your responsibility to determine the draft order. Who will be going first? You know what? I am going to go. The serpentine BS is really tripping me up, and mm-hmm. I am going to go second. You're going to go second. Yes. All right. It's a it's a okay. it's a position of stability. If you steal my first pick, I would be so surprised. But I feel like it's possible. You're going to have sovereigns <laughs> going first. Yeah. So, so I will go third. Yes. Sorry. Sovereign. That means with the very first pick of the all fantasy everything celebrity sex tape draft, mm-hmm. you it, the choice is yours. You are now on the clock. Feel free to make your pick whenever. Roblo. The Rob Lowe sex tape. Yeah. <laughs> tell, do, now, I mean, do, t- tell us about it. Okay, well, let me tell, let me tell you like what it. I'm looking for in a sep- sex tape. Yes. I'm looking for devastation. Sure. I'm looking for something that was actually like damaging or documenting like someone's descent because for me the real porn is like the trauma. Yeah. Like the the, the real <laughs> sure. joie the real joie de vivre of a sex tape is the feeling that the person's like actually kind of low key devastated. But also to me, in my mind, that's, that's like, it was because there was the underage element. There was the mom, like he got points for like underage girl, mom and daughter. Yeah. Like like he, like he was like knocking like a bunch of shit off. Like at what? Like, so that's why. Well, let's just for the listeners, if they're not familiar with it, Rob Lowe, there was a Rob Lowe sex tape. Uh, It was a threesome. Right. right. Was it mother daughter? Yeah. I had no idea well, the, it was mother daughter. There's another section where it's there's him and some of buddy them, right? of his, right? Yes. And then there's a girl. Yeah. Is it? There's it's a it's two it's See, a two like, part. It's, it's apocryphal to me because it wasn't like it was, it was a little before my time, but like that's I refer, also cultural impact because I think it was, I think it was the, like was it, pe- people were really scared. Right, it was like the first real one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. like it was like people were like holy shit. Roblo didn't know at the time, but the girl, one of the girls in the threesome Roblo and two girls happened to be underage. Yeah. And that one took place the night before the Democratic National Convention. In the <laughs> I city, get it. In the I mean... city where the DNC was happening. Because I think he was appearing at the DNC. So Rob Lowe did this fucking right before a very important political event. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out exactly what year it was. But That would have been 88. It would have right? been 88, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Rob, and uh, there was a bit of a fallout from it, right? Oh, so oh yeah. A... I mean, he was, like, he was, I mean, he was... Persona non grata until that yeah. Oscars where he performed with Snow White and everybody hated him. Do you know yeah. what I'm talking about in 89? I don't um, think I do, no. at, the, at the beginning of the Oscars, there was this strange number where, like, the guy putting together the Oscars choreographed him and Snow White, and it was supposed to be this charming, like, he's a Disney prince type oh, guy. Oh, no. And it, it's like a legendary disastrous moment. And all, all these years later, the person playing Cinderella finally, or Snow White, um, finally was talked about how horrible it was for her, her entire life. Anyway, let's talk about the sex tape. Do you know what's also great about that sex tape? Yeah. The element of, again, there's this other guy in it who's like cheering him on kind of. Yeah. Thing. And it's like, I'm not, I guess the only word for it is homoerotic, but it's just, right. you just like fuck with your friend. I mean, I get it. It's fine. I believe it. You know, it's, I mean, if it's, if it's something you're into, that's fantastic. Yeah. I would feel so weird. I would want to give my friend uh, a moment's peace. Yeah. You know? Right. I would feel so weird in the corner, just like, there you go. What do you do? You're leading with your hips again. You yeah, know right. not to do that, you know? It does seem like the third base coach of sex. It yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Like, you don't really with need your to hips. be there. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I would, maybe not my friend, but I think I would watch Rob Lowe fuck and sort of cheer him on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Given the opportunity. If you were, if you were it was like, like, it was like, wasn't it, so it was like black and white. It was kind of like, yeah. I, like, like there was some, it was like, and wasn't it like shortly, was it before or after that sex lies and videotape? Right around the same time, like, I think it would have been right before it. Yeah, yeah, like it, like it inspired then mm-hmm. this kind of this almost this genre of of fictional movie. Yeah, like this well, idea of like past it. Yeah. because I think it was like it was also marked the the beginning of like home movies like that like what we have today with self like that was the first where like technology was really coming into your house and you could really like candy cam you could like yeah, it kind of yeah. marks also like this point in like in culture where our relationship to technology was starting to change as well. Because you see movies like Sliver come out, stuff like that, where it's like, no, everyone's watching you. Everything's being, re- like, it, it was this new kind of right. sense of what is privacy. The mm-hmm. idea of, like, yeah. panopticon and, like, constant yeah. surveillance. Yeah. yeah, and I think that was one of the first big, because what's the, like, the most private moment you have is is when you fuck. Like, right. That's right. Like Cheering most, on your friend who's fucking. 
or yeah. you know, like yeah. all the things that, that people have been doing forever. But like, you know, so I think it also marked this cultural shift in how we perceived privacy and also like the role of technology. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. And that's also around this. I mean, like, I guess I think of the 80s in general as when tabloid culture became super extreme. You yeah. know, like just like the like the the years of how fat Liz Taylor is and we couldn't get over that. You know, yeah. it's like that. God. And so it's like. I, I felt like there's a lot and like, you know, with the Sean Penn and Madonna people being super explosive and like that sex type being like actually, um, you know, the the promise of like a Hollywood bad boy actually being a bad boy and it being yeah. verified was a completely new idea. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. And it always been protected information. Before. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. And without the Rob we you know, we probably never would have had Zach and Miri made a porno. Right. right. Which yeah. a direct <laughs> descendant of that sex. Thing. Right. Which uh, important milestone for elizabeth banks absolutely that's right yes <laughs> of someone we were all heavily invested in. yes right uh, <sighs> yeah it was it was that's a great it's a great pick there's no there's no real criticism of that pick Thanks. rob i'll fucking fucking rob Lowe. when the colin kaepernick thing happened he started pontificating about all that it was like rob Lowe, you should maybe not be speaking on issues of morality and uh, <laughs> no doubt and also by the way seconds after his damn roast where he's like can't you believe i can't believe how cool i am yeah. oh I, I totally get it yeah now let you me know? use this platform yeah. in good grace he had to speak down to a quarterback who i couldn't possibly understand what he's going through yeah right uh, uh, yeah, a quarter black man probably more prescient than his role as a quarterback. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Rob Lowe. It's crazy that we. I mean, we welcome back him back into our hearts several times, fully. Several yeah, times. yeah. But yeah. I think yeah. Parks and Recreation is what really kind of fully brought him back. And Parks it's because and Re- they had Wayne's him. Wayne's World, right? Well, he was in Wayne's World, uh, and he yes, and he was also in uh, Billy, not Billy Mattis, uh, uh, like uh, yeah, Tommy uh, Boy, Tommy, Tommy Boy. Boy. But I feel yeah. like, like in terms of be, like becoming back into just being beloved or whatever, it's yeah, because that character in Parks and Rec was so oh that we, we it lovable. was cool to respect him and yeah, stuff yeah, too, yeah, yeah, yes. like mm-hmm. it was back to normal, like it had never happened. Well, Rob Lowe from fucking an underage girl all the way to the number one pick in the All Fantasy Everything draft. Uh, Sob, you took the Rob Lowe sex tape. That means Lewis. You have the second pick oh, of the so first nice. round. You are now on the clock in the celebrity sex tape draft. Okay, well, um, I don't. It, it, it's occurring to me right now how delusional I was that you might steal this number one pick since <laughs> it's just such a stupid pick. Okay, I went with Jenna Lewis from Survivor and her oh. model husband. Do you remember this? I do. She, Jenna Lewis was this chick who was on the first season of Survivor in 2000, right? Okay. Okay, so anyway, this sex tape. And she like was like a VH1 personality for a second. You know, like people yeah. who, when they were on reality shows at that time got like three chances. They let her have $300 to be on like best week ever. For Precisely. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You know, and like that Colleen Haskell chick was in that movie, The Animal with uh, um, Rob yeah. Schneider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. anyway, very important time in American history. Um Anyway, so this woman, uh, it's her honeymoon sex tape, and her husband happens to be a, like, blistering hot model. Now, <laughs> he's way hotter than her. Yes. Uh, no, well, and, like, she's... Well, no, wait, she's beautiful, too. Yes, but... but he's, like... Yeah, well, I, yeah. Guess, I guess I'm thinking of what I might have been going through when I was, like, 14 at the time, like, pre- you know, pretending to be straight, so this, this is, you know, a crucial moment for me. I'm thinking, I watched Survivor... Oh, she's a hot person. We'll never know anything about her sex life. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yes, we <laughs> will. Wait a minute. She's banging a really hot guy. And so it's like the the sex tape is them and their honeymoon. And like she doesn't want to do it. She's like, oh, I feel kind of uncomfortable. I don't know. I don't really like this or whatever. And meanwhile, the whole thing's And it's just like it's the first sex tape that looked like kind of porn. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it crossed. The, the yeah, the camera wasn't like in a shitty position. Yeah, right. Yeah, you could yeah. see it all, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So also, they just, it's like a satisfying sex tape because it's like the guy is pr- prominently featured because he is like kind of running the whole show. And so anyway, <laughs> uh, a, a seminal moment in LGBT history, I believe. A seminal moment for you. Too. <laughs> yes, but no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if Harvey Milk were here now, he'd be like Jenna Lewis and that model husband. Yeah, yeah. True Praise heroes. Me. Yeah, Stonewall. Yes. Jenna right. Lewis and her husband. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, uh, it's a, a, an important moment for you. An important moment. It was. It was interesting when reality stars started crossing that bridge. Right. They where, got that, that. That became something they could do. That right. was like added dimension to their persona. Because for a long time, it was these very big, like a Rob Lowe and some of right. the other people we'll mention in the draft. But then when you get like those lower level ones, where in your head, even you're like. There's a chance where if I played all my cards right, I could have sex with someone like this. You yeah, know? right. That's never happening with like a Rob Lowe. But if you get like a reality TV star, uh-huh. you know, all of a sudden that might be in play, which adds sort of a level of sexuality to it that I think is intriguing. Right. You know? No, because, yeah, yeah it, it acquaints you with the fact that 
these people have nothing. Like yeah. they don't have like yeah. some agent being like, you know, it's just like, th- th- you know, they exactly. have the same Ikea framed picture on their wall that you have. Right. They also don't have any money. Yeah. You know, right. You're like, I recognize <laughs> all the art in their apartment. Uh-huh. Yeah. These aren't rich people at all. Uh, it's a beautiful sentiment, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Shared struggle. Jenna, Jenna Lewis and her model husband. I love, I love that pic too. Survive, survivors given us survivors given us a lot of naked people. Yeah, or ju- or just like bizarre pop culture, like you know the Hasselbacks. Yeah, the, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. They, they they did. Oh, they, Richard gonna, Hatch, of course. Yes. Richard Hatch, of course. I'm exposing my ignorance here. The Hasselbeck. Did they marry the quarterback Hasselbecks, or is that from the NFL, or is that a complete mm, coincidence? I think yeah, that's right. I wish I knew. I oh, wish I knew bad. too. <laughs> I think she, she did have another last name when she was on the show, so okay. I think that's right. I'm going to assume she married one of the quarterbacks, and she became like a. Pundit. She was on The View, pundit. yeah, yeah, for yeah. all those years. And she was real, like, Kellyanne Conway committed to being, like... Hardcore. Yes. God, Kellyanne Conway. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a whole other podcast, but Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. That person is committed. Right. The name Kellyanne is <laughs> yeah, lovely well. to say, though. Kellyanne. <laughs> Kellyanne. If it's Trump so doesn't win, she should win, like, an Emmy. They should give her an Emmy next year for how hard she's acting her ass off on all these television shows. Right, yeah. Because Pret- she was, like, a respected political pundit amongst conservatives you know liberals would still be like fuck her but like even now can like right thinking conservatives are like yeah she's like on fire sh- lying shit. Yeah. yeah she's like she went way off the reservation uh we <laughs> which we just did as well so with your first pick of the celebrity sex stage right you take jenna lewis from survivor and her hot model husband I, controversial pick i know it is it's a controversial first pick <laughs> but mm-hmm. it, it comes from the heart your strategy right this is my ballad person yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very specific. Yeah. It's your ballot. I love that. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is if if it means it means more to you than it could ever to anyone listening. But hopefully they connect too. Right. Yeah. You kids, if you have a dream, follow it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. I. It's now my pick. It's my my turn to make uh, my first pick of the celebrity sex day draft. I'm kind of going your route uh, a little bit, sovereign with 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 the devastation of it all, because with my first pick, uh, I am taking. The Hulk Hogan sex tape. Oh, oh speaking of you. devastation, yeah. God damn it. Speaking of devastation, God the, damn it, Ian. the sex tape that ruined Gawker and called and called the First Amendment into question, just in general. The sex tape itself, not that remarkable, although it is hilarious. It's Hulk Hogan in his 50s or 60s, full of barbecue. During the sex tape, he complains about how full he is. He's like, oh, <laughs> oh I eat too much barbecue. And the person he's having sex with is the radio DJ Bubba the Love Sponge's ex-wife. And it, Hulk Hogan and Bubba the Love Sponge are friends. And he fucks his ex-wife. And it's on camera. And the sex tape itself, not that remarkable. But it did completely yeah. topple a media empire. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah, yeah, I like the juxtaposition of destruction and, like, uh, you know, innocuousness. Just yeah. like, what is this? You yeah, know? yeah. Just, it, it's the least erotic. I have seen videos of fucking like plywood being made that are more erotic right. than, than the Hulk Hogan sex video. It's also a testament to like how much money people make in in celebrity because like Hulk Hogan hasn't been a famous person for probably like twenty to twenty five years, or like a superstar. Yeah, yeah. right. Like, yeah, and so it's d- a definitely not to, generating any new reasons to be famous. Yeah, it's it's, it's a testament also yeah. to how much money famous people actually make that he's still in this income bracket and all of this stuff like 25 like that's how long you can live that opulent lifestyle yeah. off of being a like a superstar for like a year or two like it's kind of crazy Especially that was the if thing you to me buy a house in me. florida apparently yeah oh, was <laughs> that where i was oh yeah it was all in florida oh yeah. my gosh i mean that that seems just it's so on the nose such a i didn't want to say it feels like it's in florida it feels it was. floridian it's mad floridian it's a also balding like, blonde man fucking his <laughs> friend's ex wife. It's weird, like, like, you know, like, we being in porn, I, you get, yeah. there's a certain, like, as a person that's done porn, it's, it's so bizarre because we always say, you know, I'm normal. Like, civilians are fucking weird. <laughs> sure. And because yeah. I would get, cus- like, requests for custom videos that were just, like, the most bizarre shit. And I remember sitting with another girl and we were sitting on set and we're like, man, like, these guys are gross. Yeah. Like, 
Like I'm just normal. Like I just like I just want yeah, to go like self possessed. You don't yeah, have you yeah. don't have to submit anonymous requests yeah, elsewhere. But it's to... like the, the fantasies would just be like this bizarre stuff. And it's like whenever you see like swing do- documentaries about swingers, it's yeah. always like kind of overweight middle aged people it in is. fucking Wisconsin. They're all and, Jewish therapists. Yeah, and it's like every time it's so, people like, who are the, bored. Yeah. yeah, and so it's like the whole Colgan tape also reminds me of this thing where it's like there's like old middle aged people like just like. Like I don't know what the erotic factor is, and sort of like running. documenting their, their. Like, I just kind of kind of like I was like, this is America. Yeah, it's very all American. Like it this is, is what we really look like. I bet people felt like they could trust, especially these like I mean, this the re- the Americans you know who are the actual weirdos probably felt like they could trust you with some of this information because oh, like, yeah. she gets it. Yeah, she totally <laughs> well, no, exactly. Yeah. Like oh, like she must be real, and it's like we're all like. No, I'm just willing to be filmed doing it. Yeah, yeah. Literally, right. yeah. literally the only difference. You're not like an me. oracle. Yeah. Of, right. Yeah. I've lifted the veil. You're just still weird, though. It's weird that you want me to be naked and step on a model train right? set, and yeah. you're gonna jack off to that. Yeah. Oh man, weird shit. Can you say? Can you tell us what? Or is there like a? Uh, I have one where they wanted me to. Um, they want had specific music they wanted playing. They wanted. What was to the be, music? Do you remember even like the a, spirit of it? It was a techno it? dance track, like okay. an EDM kind of thing, and they wanted to. Be I was in, hoping like, it was like "Release Me" by Wilson Phillips. I would have done it. Yeah. Uh, it it was, so it, they wanted to be in a, in a warehouse. They wanted it to be like my feet were dirty. They wanted it to start out that I was like dancing to the beat in like a button down shirt. Uh-huh. Then at a certain point in the music, I was to take off my shirt. And then they wanted me to like crawl around on the ground. And then they wanted me to start like making like animal and dog noises and things like that. Uh-huh. Like while also sort of like crawling on the ground and dancing to the beat. Um, it's a long song. No, uh, no porn in it. I mean, that, oh, was, that it. was it. That was. I That's mean, the obviously, they were gonna, uh, uh, obviously they were going to use it You're a dog in a collared shirt. <laughs> <laughs> sexual, like... I've had that dream. Yeah. Yeah. Like, obviously, they're going to use it for sexual purposes. Of course, but, yeah. But, yeah, a lot of this stuff... Like, there, it was, wasn't a warehouse safety video. Someone, they're like, don't do this, guy. Someone just Hewlett wanted Packard. me to, to record myself for 30 minutes making tea and then sitting down and reading my favorite book in silence so they could jack off to that. What? Because they, because that way they could pretend that I was their girlfriend. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, no, okay, that I understand a little bit. Like, because straight men are very into girlfriendy fa- fantasies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just so bizarre. Which I pity all about. Talk them. about. <laughs> yes. All they do is talk about is like getting pussy and like not committing. Right. It's hilarious. Nobody, but nobody really wants that. It's that the real fantasy is just like she's still here. Yeah. <laughs> She brought some of her stuff over. You know? right. Oh <laughs> shit! The Keep real thing is, the, 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 it's yeah. funny about the tea because, like, I mean, the, like a very straight guy girlfriendy thing is when tea starts showing up at your house, and you'll like open up a cupboard and you're like, "Fucking look at all the celestial seasonings up in here," mm-hmm. you know? Because I don't think most, I don't. It it, it seems like a girlfriendy thing, at least in my yeah. experience. Like yeah. you go to find a band aid, and there's actually band aids in the medicine and there's cabinet. Actually and like, yeah, and you're yeah. like, "Holy shit!" Like I'm a functional adult. My oh last my girlfriend <laughs> changed my changed my sheets for me once, which blew my mind. Not because they were gross. Like, I would change my sheets, but she was just like, I bought new sheets. I think these are going to be nicer. It never even occurred to me. I was like, I have sheets, and these are the ones I will die with. You know? <laughs> and brought over, like, nicer, better-looking wow. sheets. I find this jarring um, no, my girlfriend and disturbing. My civilizes true me. lack of self-care. She... <laughs> I hadn't unpacked in two years. My girlfriend buys new sheets like every two months just because she wants it to look different. Like yeah. I'm like, I wish I had a chalk wall. The next day I show up, I come home and there's a chalk wall there and then I can like sit and write poems on chalk. Like, Is she a genie? That's so crazy. <laughs> She's a fucking unicorn. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> like, holy shit. Yeah. Uh, um, one time a guy left poppers over at my house and I said, thank you. <laughs> Ah, I, same, same though. I bet, yeah. Same. Yeah. No, like I have some poppers. That, a guy left some poppers at my house, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm very thankful. That's the only gift I need, <laughs> darling. Just so you can loosen up every now and then. Well, yeah. sometimes yeah. it's fun when you're masturbating to like have a like really intense orgasm. It, and yeah, and be like, oh, VCR cleaner is delicious to my brain. Okay. <laughs> yeah, new sheets. I got new sheets on my back. So. <laughs> 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 Um, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm please, gonna... please, please, please. <laughs> say whatever you want. I'm not. I'm not clutching a pearls at all. I just <laughs> nobody's ever left uh, poppers at my house. But feel free to listen. Uh, yes. Are... So I'm taking the whole. What were you gonna say? Uh, no, no, yeah, yeah. So you're taking Hulk Hogan. I'm taking Hulk Hogan. Like a fucking bastard. It's such that a was... gross. It's such a gross video. He. I've... I don't believe he can get an erection. I think he was jamming a half erect penis into her. Unless he oh, was, dead. he must have been on like, Viagra. Just the amount of steroids he must have done throughout his career as a professional. And Viagra, wrestler. Make, it's so gross because it makes guys have dry mouths. So then they're like kissing Does you, with, like they're kissing you with like oh, dry mouth because oh. it's like their heart races and their. Is Cialis like, like that too? 
I don't know. Oh yeah. But like, because most people don't tell you they're taking it. But mm. like, I f- like when I was doing porn, I figured it out. It's I was like, oh, stone. there's You're a consistency. Viagra. Like, I can definitely tell when someone's. You're on a Viagra, Viagra detective. Yeah. Yes. Which I you would. could sell the oxygen, oh, and I want you to. Detective. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's either that or then like Caverject, where they inject their penis. Oh right. What? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Caverject. What part of the penis? I the base of the shaft. Oh. Well, that's the least objectionable part. <laughs> to inject something into. How long do you keep the erection for in that case? Like a year? Like a, It's there for it. You have to like was, duct tape was, it to the side of your leg? There was one performer, um, Danny Wilde wrote, uh, when he retired from porn, he actually wrote an essay. Danny Wilde uh, was a kind of ulti porn performer, but he's also a really good writer. Yeah. He's published a few books. But oh, he, when he retired, he wrote this big blog post. But it was very, like, it was commended for being very honest because he was like, he was taking Bagra to do his job. And like he had happened more than once, I guess, where he had the thing where um, he the heart on wouldn't go away oh, and he's priapism. having heart like heart pal- like all mm-hmm. and had to like go to the emergency room. And they're basically like, if you keep doing this, like you're going to either have a heart attack or you're going to like lose the ability to have an erection oh, at all. Like and so he like quit that day. He like came home and was like, OK. Oh, porn altogether. Yeah. Oh, wow. And he's, he's like a, and he's now like, an author. Yeah, that's great. So Yeah. But so, yeah, like it's a. Uh, Viagra. That's a like it can. It, it can, can it can really you fuck you up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's not it's not a joke. Like it can mess you up. Like this is like the the more you know I could actually use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So NBC Viagra, failed very me for careful. years. Cialis is supposed to be better than Viagra. Like from the the guy performers I know say they prefer it at least because it's a little less intense. Oh okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, this is news we can all use. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're so right. guys, I'm don't wiser. inject your yeah. boners. It makes you more susceptible to HIV and hepatitis C. Mm-hmm. Uh, you might give it to your male or lady partner. You want to be conscious of that because you, yeah. So don't use Caverject. It's not. It is not safe. It's nobody who listens to risky. this has ever had sex. So I think we're totally <laughs> right. fine. <finding it. laughs> yeah, start from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is a vagina? Right? It's, yeah. um, it's like it's got it's a hole and it's got some flappy things that oh, no, you know. You. I disagree. Like I think a, it looks no, no, no. more like, like a tuft of hair on it. Yeah. And I then... think it's a trapezoid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. I've seen more And it can be different colors. Yeah. This is my guess. And you were it's a Rubik's you're describing a Rubik's <laughs> yes. cube. Yeah. <laughs> Mine just looks like the nose of a kitten. It's right. It's got like some candy oh, floss adorable. on it. It's yeah. adorable. Some are magnetic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mine's very powerful. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's like you have a prehensile vagina. Yeah, it's very. You can carry three grocery bags at yes, once. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's strong. I take it to the gym. I work that shit out. <laughs> Kettlebells. I uh, can protect your dick in a street fight. <laughs> just hide it. Yeah, we right. have to move. We have to move up. We will because we will stop drafting and just talk because this is too much fun. Oh. With the we're now in the second round, wrapping up the first round. Uh, Sa- Sav, uh, you went first. You took the Rob Lowe sex tape. Yes. Lewis, you went second. You took Jenna Lewis from Survivor. Mm-hmm. I went third, and I took Hulk Hogan, uh, aka Terry Balea, and his gawker ruining sex tape. Uh, since we're doing Serpentine, I also have the first pick of the second round, and with that, I'm going to take one Kim Kardashian and huh. Ray J. Now, who are they? Now, these are two what? up-and-comers here in Hollywood. <laughs> I think you're going to see a lot from them, specifically this Ray J guy. Kim's nice, <laughs> but I don't think you're going to hear from her much. Uh, it's it's a sex tape that launched an empire. It's cra- well, at least one empire. I feel real bad for Ray J, who was in there putting in work. Kim was mostly laying there, and then she got to be famous off of it. I mean, good for her, too, but Ray J should have eaten as well. Uh, it's just it's just massive. It's hard to think. It is the most famous sex tape of all time at this point, right? It is, yeah. I think, yeah. It's, got, it's one of them, yeah. Yeah, it's, I think it's got to be. It's still, like, Kim Kardashian, if you go to, like, Pornhub, and you go to and you click on, like, the like the top porn stars or whatever, Kim Kardashian is usually, like, somewhere in the top eight. Oh, still, really? Like, MySpace yeah. style. Just because so many people are still Take just like, yeah. I gotta see that. I gotta see that Kim Kardashian sex tape. Uh, the ta- again, much like the Hulk Hogan one, the tape itself, not that erotic. No, yeah, it's not really. It's not really that sexy. It's very boring sex. Uh, I feel like I heard. I don't. I don't think I've seen the whole thing ever. But yeah. like they're they're kind of like looking at the cam- like looking at themselves in the camera quite a bit. And they say, are. Ray J too. Ray yeah. J as well. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's the kind of shit that most people do on a sex tape for the first time, where they're like be looking into the camera. And you'd think Kardashian growing up in Hollywood and Ray J having been on a television show would have better camera training than that. Right. But I guess not. 
Uh, I'm now picturing Brandy teaching him basic camera tricks. Yeah. Like Brandy. things she picked up on Moesha. Look six inches above the camera. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's it just, I mean, it turned Kim Kardashian and the Kardashians in general into this global phenomenon. Mm-hmm. They would She would have been maybe like an L.A., you know, party person anyway and, probably, and already was and probably would have continued to. But they're huge. They're the whole reason yeah. E is still a network. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, they're maybe, they're maybe, they're probably the most famous family. I mean, it's either the Kardashians or the Obamas. I mean, like in the United States of America, right? I mean, the, man, you're right. They're massively famous, and they're all fucking famous. We give a fuck about well, not that we in this room, but as a country, give a fuck about Rob Kardashian, who has no alliteration in his name, no, and has no skills to speak of. Right. Yeah. No, we care about offshoots of Kardashians. We I mean, do. we're we're down into like third cousins and ancestors. We're so we are. We're so- <laughs> <laughs> I the history channel. Oh, Cornelius Kardashian <laughs> with a K. Huge, I, but, you huge know, and I mustache. Think yeah. I think it's a like a sex tape. One, it's an interracial sex tape. It is because an you've got, a, you've got the black male performer, and then also Kim represented a kind of very ethnic beauty. She's the Armenian, right? That's the, the, Arme- the Kardashian yeah, Armenian. Armenian. Yeah. I grew up in Fresno, which is very Armenian. But like the huge butt, the big tits, the full lips, like like everything, the dusky skin. Yeah, she was like it was also like this new standard of beauty, super sexual. Like I'm in love with this choice actually because it it all she represented a change in this in aesthetic. Yeah, she, and she was like it was the first time like she's a huge superstar that is allowed to be sexual. When most white women become superstars, they can be sexy but they can't be sexual. Like she is a blatant sex object, overt like, sexual, overt sex yeah. object, and that's like. That's a first, and she, so she was like, the first. And there have yeah. been subsequent ones, like you have like an Amber Rose, and right. people have come in, in yeah. her stead. And we even let we even let some sky uh, pop stars be like a little more overtly sexual, like a Sky yeah. Ferreira, so, you know, not to step that that fucking article that came out, but oh, like I mean, yeah, people yeah. get to be more yeah own their sexuality a little yeah, bit. Like more. Her yeah, like her and like yeah, her, like that tape and all those things. It's like just I think there was something about even just the physicality of people wanting to watch her yeah because she was antithetical to what we're told is the standard of beauty which is to be very slender and very and like she was like on display and she was something to be objectified and watched and she had this this even to this day like her her butt and all it's unreal it's that, that body's crazy. unreal when i was when i was working on chelsea lately uh we had her kim's sister uh oh chloe chloe guest hosted our show and was perfectly wonderful was so nice and like funny too, what a joy to work with. But she, uh, you know, when she came into the writers' room, she was wearing like sweat, like a like a tracksuit, you know, like a f- expensive tracksuit, and looked dope. But like uh, you couldn't really tell. And then when she came out to do the monologue, was wearing like one of these skin tight bodysuits, and her ass was not not even in a sexual way, just seemed impossible. Yeah, right. It was mm-hmm. like watching Michael Jordan dunk from the free throw line. Like it was just such a physical <laughs> feat. Just like seeing right. it in person, I was like. Oh my God! How? How does it even get? The, it, it was insane. like it's no accident. Like no, not everybody looks like this. right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it made me sort of get it. Like for the, I was like, fuck. I mean, if you're, if that's what you're into, there. I mean, there, there it is. There's yeah. like the holy grail of yeah. it. Yeah. I was gonna say uh, what what I like about Kim Kardashian in particular is like. I think the reason people have, like, a vitriolic reaction to her, like, in particular, like, men, like, for a couple reasons, it's, like, one, I mean, like, there's, like, a, the pure reason, which is, like, I mean, the show is about her hanging out with, like, other women in her family, right? Yeah, it's I mean, a how family o- show. How, how often is that even on television? You know what right, I mean? So it's, yeah. like, it's a show for women. And, like, because she's basically a celebrity made for women in a lot of ways, like, people object to her being so famous because people like that aren't used, used to getting that famous. Yeah. Right. But also, it's, like, I think a lot of men... Uh, don't like Kim Kardashian because she has no girlfriend appeal. You know what I mean? She's yeah. just, she's so, and uh, you know, she's so uh, sexual, yeah. you know, like oh, an yeah. amazing yeah. looking pinup person. Like yeah. nothing about her is Emma Stone. Nothing about her is, you know, Accessible. Kristen Bell. It's like, yeah. no, you, mm-hmm. yeah, you, you never literally, see her... you have to be Kanye West yeah. to fucking you do, this yeah. close. Like... And you have to be like this Kanye West too. Yeah. You can't be like pink polo Kanye West. Right. You have to be yeah. like crazy <laughs> high fashion Kanye West. Yeah. Right. You can't picture Kim Kardashian like in your flannel shirt. No. There's no, there's no controlling her. Like no, she that. thinks that's gross. I think she's fucking. I fucking love her and what she. I'm not a fan of the show just because it's not the way like I like to unwind. But I think it's so dope that she took, even if it wasn't orchestrated, the sex tape to gain attention. Took that and is like built an empire and made her entire family rich off of it. 
I mean, like the sex tape was so fit that Rob Kardashian had a successful line of socks. Right. I mean, what a blessing to give to your family. Like, <laughs> as someone, no, you, like that's true. It's fucking amazing. I mean, that's like an like maybe it's the new American dream, but it's a version of the American dream. And she started rich, you know, her family was wealthy. But right. I mean, to blow up that hard and to create like genera generational wealth like that, it's fucking yeah. amazing. I mean, that's hustling. She took it, you know, it came from a sex tape, but then it's just been hustling since then. Right. That's amazing. You brought up, Sovereign, something that I want to touch on just briefly when you were talking about, like, the like the way that Kim Kardashian looks, the, kind of the duskier appearance. And then uh, there's this weird, the, the post, porn post 9-11, and Kim Kardashian was part of this rise. And then uh, who's the, who's the Lebanese-American porn star who... Uh, People are always going in her DMs, and she's, like, exposing them. Like, Drake. Uh, Mia Khalifa? Mia Khalifa yeah. as well. There, there seems to be this weird, like, especially in this country with how, like, like uh, anti-Muslim sentiment there is. Right. And anti-Arab sentiment there is. That, like, she, like, became one of the most quickly. Well, I mean, there is the whole thing that, like, genetically speaking, when we're talking about, like, our sexuality, like, yeah. we're, we're, we're primed to be attracted to people that have the most genetic mixing. Yeah. Like, so that's why we all, like, everyone thinks that uh, women in Bollywood movies, right, telenovelas, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. they're all, like, it's all that, like, because that's, like, the most, it represents sort of the most genetic mixing. Right, because so, like, your lizard brain's like, I want to get some of those genes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Do you so, think that, I, my theory is that there are these, like, the Trump voters are out there just, like, like jacking off to like Arab uh, women who even look Arab. Oh, I know. Just as this sort of like forbidden fruit sort right, of thing. I'm, I'm having, almost has to be right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Having done porn, I can tell you. Like I know what the the like interracial porn is the most popular in the deep south. Yeah. Like and a lot of it is like cuckolding sort of. That's why it's really funny that the alt right and Pepe and all like they calling uh, liberals cucks. Yeah. And, like that's funny because. Like conservative Christian Republicans uh, are conservative Christians are the most likely to click through links to porn. Yeah, and they're the number one uh, purveyors of interracial porn that involves some element of cuckolding. Yeah, so that's something that almost exclusively like white Southern good old boys want to watch. That makes right. total sense. <laughs> it's the, like when people call me like a cuck on Twitter, I'm like, you just like you're showing me your whole hand. Like that's yeah. the thing you're most afraid of. Somebody fucked my girlfriend, you know what I mean? I'd be bummed out maybe for a little bit, but it moved past it. And yeah. you're like so late, you're like, it's the ultimate insult. Yeah. Uh, fucking, oh, the alt-right. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's my weird armchair theory about <laughs> porn. Uh, yes, Kim Kardashian with Ray J. Uh, is, and it's one of those weird, I think, probably in a hotel room porns too. Everything looks like a Marriott. When you start looking at the other scenery, I think I, I want to like say it's maybe a little bit well more well lit it's than certain very sex, well lit. sex videos. Are, it's every like. light on. It's yeah, crazily right. well lit. Yeah, it's like Trump gold in there. It yeah, is yeah. Trump. Yeah, that's very funny. Versailles it's gold, fully yeah. Trump gold in the Kim Kardashian sex video. Um, yeah, so those are my picks. I've got Hulk Hogan sex tape and Kim Kardashian. And Lewis, uh, the the draft is on you. It's your okay. I'm actually tip. glad I did this because I felt like I think this is going to get snatched up by my friend Sav here. I'm going with Colin Farrell's sex tape. Ooh. No. Okay. Yes. Take it. I, I want to like make you cry with my picks. <laughs> um, um, okay. Here's what's important about the Colin Farrell sex tape. One, he actually is just like a sexy celebrity. Like you'd be curious to see it. I think in some yeah. ways. But also, it's like it challenges your perception of how hot you think he is because he looks like a neo-Nazi. Yeah. He's like he's <laughs> completely shaved head, like Walter White, nothing go like it just in like a mustache. And uh, it's like right close up. Anyway, it's just I, I find it among the most watchable um, sex videos. And also, I think people who have seen every sex tape tend to agree uh, among women. Anyway, yeah. that his is one of the better ones. <laughs> I yeah. mean, he's gorgeous. Yeah, he's go. I got to work. He came and did. Uh, I write on the Late Late Show right now, and he came and did an episode we did in someone's house. Oh yeah, and he showed up. Gorgeous by one of those people where there's certain people, you know, male or female, they just walk in a room and you're like. How are we the same species yeah. of animal? You know what I mean? Like, I interviewed him once and thought the same thing. It's yeah. crazy how yeah. good looking. And then he's also so funny. He's oh, right. He's a quick, Irish. charming oh, yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, once you get that, I mean, only adds to how, how sexy he is. You know right. what I mean? It's amazing Colin Farrell. I, I haven't seen I, that sex tape. But, oh, really? Yeah. Yes. No, I when I interviewed him one time, I said something like, I don't know how we got in this. Oh, he was in like an action movie. He was in that Total Recall remake. Yes. And he talked about he, how, how he was an insane fan of um, Jean-Claude Van Damme movies. Yeah. And I just thought it was like, I mean, like, I was like, 
I, I wasn't super attracted to him before, but I was like, wow, you really are just into like raw power. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I was like, yeah, you Sinuary. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ropey forearm muscles. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Farrell, man. Plus that accent. You can't beat that accent. Yeah, we kind of don't have another actor who sounds like that. I mean, Liam Neeson maybe, but it doesn't sound like that. No, Liam yeah. Neeson's more that, uh, he's yeah. more bog Irish. Right. And Colin Farrell's more Highland Irish. You know Precisely. I mean? No, yeah, Colin yeah. Farrell will always have cachet for that reason. Yeah. You know, there's no one. It's like Rihanna. You know, it's like she will continue to have hits as long as no one sounds like that. Right, you know? exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. no one's been able to so far. Yeah. Right. Uh, and even then, they they probably won't be from Barbados. Uh, Certainly, like that too. Yes. Yeah, uh, excellent. Colin Farrell, Sovereign. Any thoughts on the Colin Farrell sex tape? Is your heart broken that it got snatched? No, it's not broken. I'm it's sorry, a Liz. good choice, though. Oh, like, okay, like good. I'm just, I'm just like flawless. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, you think I was going to do this wrong, honey? <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. I like, no, I didn't think you were going to do it wrong. But uh, I like, and I don't know the theme is as long as there's like if there's a hot guy in the sex tape, then that's the one you're gonna pick. Some of the, been some some so of the time, I said Jenna was quite lovely in the other no, video. But, but her husband was model hot, and then it's Colin Farrell. So now I'm I'm true enough. My, I'm getting my pattern down. Uh -huh. I got it. I bet you're upset that so I took you're, Hulk you're, Hogan so out from you, Lewis. Your criteria is basically fapability. Like, you know, I believe it's important. I believe my fap ability is under <laughs> is underestimated in this conversation. <laughs> I will storm out of here if you bring it up again. Uh, speaking of fap ability, uh, it's time to find out the fap ability level of your second pick, Sovereign. God damn it! I'm having trouble. Oh god. Uh, um, God, I'm having to do this. Thing. Amy Fisher. Oh. Oh right. Yeah. So, yeah. This fits in with your theme, your strategy, fully. Yeah. Yeah. Amy Fisher, and let me tell because she, the, she released it on her own, mm -hmm. and then she, she like, got made her own porn site, and was, and was distributing her own porn, and, like, was being a porn star, and was, like, being hired by the, like, she decided to be a porn star. Yeah, at, like, right. the age of 33, I think, right? Yeah. And, like, tour the country. Yeah. As a stripper like, as well. Implants, like, yeah. like, all this, like, like. Doing like the Fugazi. She was like going city to city. Yeah. Little grassroots movement. Yeah, she yeah. was feature dancing and she was <laughs> she was feature dancing. Like she was she it was like the celebrity using porn to become a porn like someone coming in and using their celebrity status to become a porn star yeah. instead of the other way around. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. So like that's why to me it marked like a a thing. So I was like, oh, this is interesting. She's trying to take what celebrity she has in the mainstream culture yeah. and use that to make her a porn star. Well, we should explain her celebrity because it fits. I mean, it's she's a controversial figure. Amy oh, yes. Fisher was 17, sleeping with a man named Joey Buttafuoco, who was like in his 30s. Yeah. Who was married. But he was, let, let's establish, he was gorgeous. He okay. was Joey's but, <laughs> Buttafuoco, way more beautiful than his last name would apply. Really, no, no. Yeah, it's a brutal yeah, last name. But so, uh, he was married. She was 17. She shot his wife. Mary Jo Buttafuoco. Mary yeah. Jo Buttafuoco. Yeah. And like, that's, they, yeah. Well, yeah. But I think they started the affair when she was like 16. Like, she was. Right, yeah. She was. She was. Because her she nickname was, was the Long Island Lolita. Yeah. yeah Which, by she, the way, adds an extra layer of awesomeness to this because. That's such a porn moniker. Yeah, she just owned it. You exactly. Know? So yeah, either so, porn or a terrible boxer. Yeah. Right. So she <laughs> was. So she <laughs> she was jealous of the wife because mm -hmm. he wasn't going to leave his wife. So she showed up at the doorstep. The wife opened the door. She shot her in the face. The wife survived. Yes. There was a huge trial, huge scandal, and she went to jail for how long? Like five? Was it not that long? I would say it wasn't terribly long. It wasn't terribly long, but like, and then kind of went into obscurity and was sort of forgotten about. And then this was sort of how she became famous again. Yeah, yeah. had a wave. Sort of, yeah, but I think like for sex tapes wise, I, I like it because it was the first time that you saw someone doing it the reverse. Like, the reverse gonna, is amazing. I'm gonna try yeah. to take this fame and make it so that I'm famous in this industry and in porn. Right. Like, I thought that was very novel. That is novel. That's great. Yeah. yeah, that's I think the only person of the celebrity sex tape pool who went that route too. Yeah, maybe China. Oh yeah, maybe actually China yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That's about right. What if you mm -hmm. go and Fisher late night mainstays in the nineties? I was just gonna say it. I mean, like people. I mean, that went on for so long. Yes, they it, were like the every Leno monologue for yeah. like three years was like but if you go, yeah, yeah, uh, like pre Lewinsky kind of. Yes. you know that. Yeah, it was. It's How much it's would you love a Monica Lewinsky sex tape? As in from that time. Like I mean, even now, like I just she's thick. I, I would just, I would definitely watch it. Like I would watch it, but just for like like that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> like if that if it came out, there yeah. was like 
The timing would be so strange. If it would, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were we now on that? The time. That's Julian Guys, Assange's we were talking... October surprise. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Monica Lewinsky sex tape. <laughs> if Vladimir Putin is listening. Yeah. Um, right, yeah. Get Girl. Your, get your get your tech guys on it. Yeah. Um, Help us out, Queen. Yeah. You shirtless horse riding, beautiful man. Uh all right, stop. So you want Amy Fisher. Now, because it's Serpentine, you also have the next pick. You have the first pick of the third round. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I'm like a little kid. Um, um, okay. Much like Amy Fisher, the Long Island <laughs> she Lolita. Was, she was just a baby. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> um, Okay, so we can keep. Oh gosh. Oh, we should put just really quick. When she made her sex tape, she was thirty-three. So yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. She wasn't sixteen yeah, or yeah, seventeen. Yeah, okay. No, yeah, no. yeah. 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 Um, so you can Google it. Now I'm like second guessing my choices, but okay. So Rob Lowe, Amy Fisher, um, Courtney Stodden. Oh, okay. I actually forgot about that one. Yeah. Yes. I'm just because one, it's a solo. Two, it's like her whole creation with Doug Hutchison. Uh, like full disclosure, I know Doug. I like he started writing letters to me. Like he, we had a little pen pal thing when I was fifteen or sixteen years yeah. old, and Ooh. he was uh, oh, is that so? Older. Um, uh, yeah. So full disclosure, I know him. He's someone that I was romantically involved with. <laughs> tell our, now tell our listeners who all these people are. Uh, Doug like, Hutchison is a yeah. is a was a character is a character actor. He was in um, the X Files stuff like that. He was in the Green Mile. He was on Lost. Um, and Courtney Stodden, they the he. They, well, I don't know him now. We're not we're not personally connected now. But I'm just like sort of throwing it out there. It's like there is some like personal interest in that. What if I announced I, I was dating him? Wouldn't that be such a <laughs> great twist? I'm sorry, I'm not that. Um, I'm more I'm more just like, sort of fascinated by like, because uh, someone sent me an article when he he so he ended up marrying this 17 year old girl. 16, I think at the time she they were se- certainly was, together at 16. Was, oh yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. She was 17. Bad, uh, parents' permission, all that stuff. She had been interested in like one of his acting workshops or something like that. But like she's such a caricature figure, and I'm the moment that I saw her, I was like, "There," because I know him. I was like, "There's gonna end up being a sex tape, like her, like not them, but there's." She'll be involved in one. Yeah, because just knowing, just little offhanded things he had told me at different times when we had hung out. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's like I was like, I was like, dime to a dollar. She, she looks she's like gonna three be, horny thirteen-year-olds yeah. summoned her. Right. Like she, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. She. That's what. She, yeah. I like, seem to remember her being intentionally funny like she has like a personality and stuff yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah she so, has a great instagram all this stuff so like for me she's a pick because yeah it's it's a different kind of there's no shame in the sex tape there's no pretending that they it, it's, it's like no what we're right. really that is, doing that is actually refreshing yeah. The, yeah. The, the annoying pretense of oh how did it get out and all this yeah. nonsense yeah yeah, yeah. in mm-hmm. keeping with your theme of devastation what's being devastated here are the old norms and mores <laughs> that used to surround Thank sex you. Tips. The feminine mystique. Absolutely. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah, there. yeah. I also have a new cookbook coming up, <laughs> The Feminine Mesquite, which is just really delicious feminine barbecue. That sounds bad, Ian. <laughs> That's a joke I came up with when I was 17, and I thought I'd shoehorn it in here all these years later. And I apologize to oh, everyone was, here. I, so I laughed. I laughed. <laughs> uh, Courtney Stodden, great pick. Uh, I think. Yeah. I, I love her. Like, I really do. You have yeah. a colorful list. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lewis, it is now your turn to make uh, your third pick. You still have Jenna Lewis and Colin Farrell. I do. On your roster. Who's going to be the third sex tape? Well, I'm I'm happy to upend your uh, your expectations at this moment because this is so unfappable. <laughs> and I am unflappable. I just wanted to rhyme that. Okay. Yeah. Um, It is the Scott Stapp Kid Rock sex oh, tape. Oh, yes. Are you familiar with this? Uh, Scott Stapp from Creed. Yes. If, you want, if you want someone to be mad at you, I will be mad at you. Because that's where I was going immediately next. This is, well, oh! get ready. Yeah. Okay. So the, is the two of them hooking up with groupies, basically? Okay. That's a little uh, In, like, like, the together? early 2000s. Like, yeah, there's, like, groupies around, and the, the two of them like are in the same groupies. room. Yeah, yeah. And I think on... I, I don't, but I they're think, together. Get, like, they're... They're in the same room seeing each other. What? That's, that's a little gay, right? right? No, it's not on gay. Oh, it's see, now I'm you're gay. reading me. Now you're reading me. Okay. <laughs> the important ding, thing ding, there ding. is, I mean, it's just these two people, on they were on tour together when this happened. So, it, it, yeah, so they're backstage somewhere. Okay, and there's, like, women. I think they're mostly just getting blown. Yeah. Um, But, like, it's just the, mo- <laughs> the most vile, like, cistern of celebrities possible. Like, God. you just feel like, you know, like, Guy Fieri is being produced here yeah. somehow. <laughs> yeah. 
they <laughs> gathered everything in the room and you know out came you know martin shkreli or whatever absolutely yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Si they summoned his spirit which overtook like a young like a young japanese boy who was yes, like, right. in new york yeah uh it is two of the most odious celebrities oh right my God. yeah like scott has i think receded in certain ways certain ways but kid rock continues only, to be doing this nonsense. Only become, and he's yeah. only become more like conservative yeah, and right. weird and just like Performing for boy. the Trump rallies and yeah. all that stuff, yeah. Oh so. my God. Yeah. yeah, at least Scott Staff, I think, had like a little bit of like a reality check and like tried to be a human being. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. And also, he in particular became one of those people, someone was just on like Conan talking about this, but like like a go-to these people suck type, you know, yes. like Nickelback, yes. you know, like one of those people. And in a way, I feel bad for those people because it's like, you know, people just tur turned uh, choose to turn on you because – it's something they can agree with their friends on. Creed had cuts too. Creed right. had, they some had huge hits. hits. Creed yeah. had some good songs that if you didn't know it was you Creed. You know we're recording this, right? Oh <laughs> shit. Are you serious? Just just <laughs> heads up, man. Just that uh was what Ian would say if he were on <laughs> meth. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll be, Creed had hits. They were good Creed songs. Scott Stapp. Nickelback, I'll go down that road. I don't like almost anything they've made. But there were some Creed songs when I was in middle school, riding that bus to Meadow Park, mm -hmm. little Jewish me, blasting that overtly Christian shit right. in my disc, man, or my MP3 player that held 12 songs. There was a Creed oh, song God. in there. I'm just saying, like, there are a ton of bands from that period where they all sounded like that. Yes. And a lot of them has, have escaped unscathed. Why can't it be Stone Sour? Yeah, Why right. Isn't Stone Sour. That's the what I'm saying. Like, or like of. Fuel. I'm yeah. sure they're better, but like, I don't know. Were <laughs> they? I don't shovel, know. Whatever. Yeah. 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 I think the lead singer of Fuel became Milo Yiannopoulos. Oh, that might have happened. The Kid Rock Scott Stapp <laughs> sex tape blocked from being released uh, uh, officially. Oh, right. What we saw was like a tease of yeah, it. But we, we saw, saw the I teaser. think, all the crazy parts we of it. We saw enough, but it was blocked. That's why you can't go see like the big official. Right. Yeah, it was stopped by... The you, the U.S. justice system decided that it would be harmful. <laughs> Not to staff and Kid Rock. The president the at the Fox. time was, said, yeah. what if we didn't? It was yeah. a, The U.N. all came... It was the only <laughs> unanimous U.N. Security Council vote of all time. Uh, <laughs> High fives and pizza were yeah. had afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, maybe we can make this crazy thing work guys <laughs> uh excellent uh scott staff and kid rock disgusting even grosser than the hulk hogan one i would say an amazing pick uh that means it's now my turn to make my third pick uh so far i've gone with the hulk hogan and kim kardashian sex tapes and rounding that out i mean i already have two of the classics i'm gonna go with the third i classic know exactly right what now. you're gonna do yeah. going pamela anderson tommy literally Lee. my next one yeah oh such a great sex tape Import, important to me the way uh, the 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 Jenna what was the Jenna Lewis one was important to you, mm -hmm. and as a burgeoning young sexual being, being able to look at that and see Tommy Lee steer a boat with his erect penis. Right. Well, that no one, one has was, loved a boat more than no Tommy one has Lee. loved a boat. He, <laughs> he was on the honeymoon with that boat, and Pamela Anderson happened to be there. Right. That was that's kind of like what that one felt like. Uh, I don't think there's ever been a time when either of them has been off a boat. Now that you mention it. <laughs> That's why they had to break up. Uh, Pamela right. had to go ashore for a while. Yeah. <laughs> it's really sad. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's the, the sex. And it's interesting. They're, you know, they're they're on hon a honeymoon. They're both. I mean, Pamela Anderson looks to get like a like an anime drawing yep. of of sex, and Tommy Lee himself, you know, not a not a terrible looking dude, and endowed endowed with a more than adequate penis. That right. guy That's for the ladies. Yeah, that was the very. It was like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking shillelagh down there. It was Something, yeah, ridiculous. A sitar. Yeah, yes. it was. Yeah. yeah, he could he could defend his home with that penis. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the sex was. But to me, my favorite part again. I already mentioned it. It got so cartoonish when they were just on a boat having a great time, and he was hammered and literally used his erect penis to steer the steering wheel of the boat they were hanging out on. When you go to vote on who you think won this podcast, uh -huh. you think of a boat being steered with a boner. <laughs> And how probably nobody's done it since. No, right. Yeah. <laughs> also, I mean that that was like a sex tape you really wanted to look up. I mean, just yes. like I mean, like she was. I mean, like speaking of like completely sexualized people or whatever, she was just the, the oh, biggest sex star. Right. Uh, and, and also the way people make constant Kardashian jokes now. I mean, I think people kind of forget. Like there was like a four year period when Pam Anderson was the punchline to every joke, everything. You know. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I think she. Yeah, she was definitely, and I think she was also the first sort of. 
She was one of the first to be like to go from being Playboy Bunny or like centerfold to mainstream. Yeah, mm-hmm. whatever. Like yeah. she was kind of one of the first where it was like, okay, like we're okay with this. Like she, where she didn't have to be ashamed of it, and it was something that she could keep doing. Like I'm on Baywatch, and I'm still gonna, I'm right. gonna compose she's, again. She snuck into like the national zeitgeist. Yeah, she wasn't, yeah, like, yeah. Get a, get and she didn't have to like to quit. Yeah. Like that to me, I think becomes significant markers. Like when someone doesn't have to, she didn't have to quit. It could, like it used to be like, well, I did one time I posed in this thing, but for her to be yeah throughout throughout all of her celebrity to still go back and pose again, she did like I think she's done the most centerfolds for right. Boy. She's yeah. never been scandalized yeah. by any of that. She no. she doesn't care. I mean, yeah. like she was. I always forget she was on Home Improvement. She was on Home Improvement. Right. Yeah. That must yeah. have been right at the beginning, like right yeah. around the posing nude time. She was the first. Time. She yeah. was the first. Whatever that tool time girl. Yeah. yeah. Tool time girl. Yeah. Before Debbie Dunning came in. Yeah. I'm oh, here to provide those there. names. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Does she have a sex tape? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee, just a, a almost a piece of Americana right up there with Norman Rockwell paintings. <laughs> right. You know I, I mean? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it Absolutely. really and and she just like sort of defined that era of sexuality. She was, you know, on the Mount Rushmore of like sexual beings. I think she would be one of the heads. Yeah, yeah. totally, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there'd be another head, Tommy Lee's of That's his right. penis <laughs> on, on that mountain. Uh, so again, it is a serpentine draft. So that was my third pick. I now have to also make my fourth pick uh, of the – oh, fuck. I wanted that Kid Rock Scott Stapp tape so bad. Oh, I'm noticing something about the the order in which we're picking things and what we're not picking. That's interesting. I'll, we'll get to it. We'll I can't wait to hear about it. I, uh, <laughs> all right. So this is the fourth pick. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay the course. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with another iconic sex tape. Uh, I'm gonna pick Paris Hilton. I was just gonna say I can't believe we didn't pick that. Yet. I know. Yeah, it's been it's been. It was on my list. Paris Hilton, Paris Hilton, Rick's professional poker player, Rick Solomon, uh, one night in Paris. Yeah. First of all, that was the first uh, in joke porn title. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like we. Get, it was named the way like a, a produced porn movie would be made, but it was a right. celebrity sex tape. Or yeah. the way like Tommy Lee would name a boat. I mean, it's just yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this catchy? Yeah. Any port in the storm. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, yeah, and again, the Paris Hilton one, not not particularly erotic. But no. in the age, we have to remember now, like, with the, like how accessible, it, you know, like erotic imagery is now. But when the Paris Hilton sex tape first came out, finding that there was still that notion where it was like, this was somebody, this is an actual, this is just like a person. This is like, you know, and like this videotape snuck out kind of thing. When you were like 12, 13 years old, like trying to find it on whatever weird fucking website. Mm-hmm. So even though they, like it was, it wouldn't be fun to watch now. Like at the time, the taboo of it was like was was fantastic. Right. And didn't Rick Solomon like fuck other famous people too? Yeah, I know. There's another one. Yeah. That's it's a it's making me mad that I can't think of it right now. But um, by the way, I think what's also notable about that tape is there's some version of it released where he's like hosting it, right? Yeah. Like introduced, like he's Rod Serling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's like, like let me welcome you yeah. to sex. A chilling yeah. journey. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I think he was the impetus behind it. But pa- I mean, it kept Paris Hilton in the or propelled her in the zeitgeist and kept her there longer than she would have been without it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but I think people forget about Paris Hilton now that like there was a time. I mean, like, I'm thinking of all my straight cousins talking about her at some point. Like, they, she was, like, the hottest woman on the planet people for a second. People thought she was hot. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I never was personally on board that train, but there were so many people were. Right, right. She was she was considered just, like, one of the hottest women in America. Mm-hmm. I just, being, like, like, like you know, the thing I remember shit. the most about that was, like, how shitty the blowjob was. Right. I was, I've like, seen that tape. Yeah. Yeah, I was, like... Like I was, I was like, if I was her, I'd just be so much more embarrassed that like my fucking dick sucking game looked so weak. Yeah, like, yeah. well, like, it's the blowjob of an of an of an heir to a fortune. You yeah, know? and it's just like, yeah. mm, it's like an iguana like licking a fucking I don't know whatever they lick. Yeah, but you know what I'm talking about. Like <laughs> that's just like like yeah. <laughs> you're just very gen- Mip. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like she was like, trying like, pomegranate like, for the I don't first like, time. You don't, I wasn't like, sure there's about no it. calories in sucking dick. Yeah. <laughs> like, it doesn't have any calories. It's fine. I'm picturing her hearing you and being like, "Huh? Yeah, it yeah. is not." Like, no, you cannot put the whole thing in your mouth. Not a single calorie. <laughs> if you're a rich kid, I feel like that, you, I, you either have sex like that, where you're very you not unsure about it, or it's Caligula shit. Right? And there's yeah, blood yeah. You're like cross-eyed. And, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, all right, so that was my pick, Paris Hilton. Uh, one night. In Paris was my uh, fourth pick. Lewis, it is now your turn to make your fourth pick. Yep, yep. Okay, you know what? I, I have to, out of obligation, 
take this now, I guess. I'm going to do the Brett Michaels. Pam oh Anderson. yes, absolutely. Was, uh, was that Pam Anderson or Janine Ludemunder? That's what I'm. Lude, that's what I mean. Lude yes, yeah. Brett Michaels Lude is the all. is what's important here, and I will tell you why. Yeah. <laughs> because when like. This is that came out around the time when like you know like VH1 would do specials about like crazy celebrity sex tapes or whatever yeah. without showing you anything like that was their big like draw then yeah. like slightly scandalous shows okay the clip they would always show of Brett Michaels was I'm gonna do my best now to describe this like Clement Moore doing yeah. a visit from Saint Nicholas <laughs> he like flops down on the bed and does like a sort of his it's like if he were in the fetal position but on his back and he sort of is rocking back and forth. Like in a kind of rocking chair esque way, like I'm so excited to get down and have sex. Yeah. <laughs> it was the dirt. It was like the dorkiest way sex could possibly begin, yeah. and it just made you think, like, guys, rock stars sometimes are the most embarrassing people we ever will have. <laughs> Absolute, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's like yeah, you see, like they're all like, like you see the child they were, like, like that awkward, like. It's like well, they at uh, some point had to be a music nerd who was sitting alone in their room memorizing guitar tabs and uh, shit right, like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or someone that did it to get pussy because they didn't have any. Yeah, you know. Also, like, just his whole vibe is just so like, I'm a nice guy. I'm trying real hard. I'm real stupid. Yeah. You know, just like <laughs> <laughs> God bless yes. him. Yeah, yeah right. There is like a God bless him quality. Yeah, to him. yeah. Oh, Brett God. Michaels. Who now? Who did he? It wasn't Pam Anderson. I know he. There, there is a there Pam is Anderson, a Pam Anderson him thing. With him. I think yeah. it's like not as spectacular a video. Yeah, yeah. No. You know, you don't get as much into it, or yeah. So who's he but, having sex with in this other one? Is it? Who would say that in a woman's Janine name? Janine Ludemuller. Ludemuller. Yeah, she's Farmer, like one. Well, she was part of a duo. It was um, it was Julia Ann and Janine Ludemuller. Where they were at this. They would go feature dance as Blondage because they're both blonde. Uh. But like. Janine was like she was an Andrew Blake girl, like Andrew Blake movies were like. What does the, that mean? Andrew Blake used to direct these movies that were like pretty much soft core, but they were like the women were breathtakingly beautiful. Okay. They looked like just fashion models, um, or like, but not necessarily the body type. But like Aria Giovanni was an Andrew oh, Blake girl. Yo Justine Tienzo. Jolie was an Andrew Blake girl. Like, like they're just kind of he could pick like he could pick that just go- and Janine was Andrew Lee and. Like he had Janine just she looked like a model. Yeah. She didn't mm-hmm. look like a porn star. Like she looked like she was a big contract girl, all this kind of stuff, but you know, she ran with the bad boys, but she looked like you'd pull her out of Vogue magazine. Right. You know? right and it was right, like right. so she re- she was like that era of porn star when Vivid became big, I think like in the nineties. I think that was the time when the big thing was like, now we can get really beautiful women mm-hmm. to do porn. Right, right, right. You know, we, I mean, we have to pay them a fuck ton of money, but now, like, but now we play. can do it. Yeah, yeah it's in, exactly. And it's we like, have the we have the war chest. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Yes. Yeah. Well, good for Brett Michael. Brett Michael. Michael and Michael and good and good for you, Lewis. Fantastic pick. I like yeah. that. And Ed Celebrity is winner. Brett oh, Michaels. that's right. So yeah. Don't say he don't got skills over there. Celebrity Apprentice <laughs> winner. Rock. Rock God. Weird uh, celebrates like an armadillo. On yes, the back yeah, right that's where he's gonna have sex. Very good. I could have just said like an armadillo. <laughs> Rock of Love, one of the one of the better two thousands reality shows. I will it say. actually was a good one. Yeah, yeah. repugnant, yeah. but I mean that's oh, what we wanted. Absolutely horrible, but that's exactly what we would want from. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shout out to Brett Michaels, Sovereign. It is time now for your uh, not only your fourth pick but also your final pick. But let's get to the fourth one first. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask a question later. Yes. Okay. Um, God, I can't decide. They're both good. Ah, now I want to bring in a third. Two, this is hard. Um, Vern Troyer. Yes. Oh, I see. Absolutely. Hundred <laughs> percent. Um, just because it was, I think, just culturally that whole thing of after Mini Me and that that extreme fame that came specifically because. Of his physical, yeah, like his of his physicality, um, the the prurient interest of people that want they wanted to see it not just because they wanted to see a porn, but also because they wanted to see a little person. Like there, there was like there were these other there was elements. Like a, huh. Yeah, yeah, there was like a there, lot, there's yeah, there a, there's a, a different kind, there are different curiosities going An on. Asexual curiosity, like, but also yeah, yeah that, in addition that, to the sexual curiosity, that he was a little person being sexual. Yeah, like and that was I think for a lot of people that was more shocking than the tape itself, and that's why I think it was awesome. Because I, I, like people were kind of like shocked, it, like yeah, right. you know, like like little people don't have like access, he can like, have a sex, sex tape, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like who would he's got and wasn't it with his fiance? It, well, yeah, yeah, it was like like it was 
but like I think that's why it was interesting to me because it was sort of like like he was sort of being confined to this character which was the like a, an infant basically and he uh, was weirdly sexualized in those movies too where he, they were like he had a huge dick that oh, was right. one of the running yeah. jokes mm-hmm. was he's like, like a tripod right yeah <laughs> <laughs> they would call them, yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's why I like that tape because I feel like I feel like it was people. I think people were it was their sensibilities were were shocked on two levels. Did you ever you see know? it? I never, no. I never saw the Ventura no. sex tape. This no. is sort of the more sophisticated version of the Dustin Diamond take. I was just I, that yes. was who I was trying to decide because between it's the him same or Dustin thing. Diamond. You went the right yeah. way. Dustin Diamond is a much darker soul than. But Brent I mean, Miller. like I mean, you can and like uh, for the purposes of this list, you can root for that darkness. Like there should be sex tapes you want to throw up off the, the cliff. Well, but yes. I was sitting there like, Troyer. do I pick Dustin yeah. for under- like because yeah, like it was sort of like the du- like it was like the underbelly of like where it's like. But the thing with with the Vern Troyer one was is that the underbelly is like there was no underbelly like. If he had not been a little person, I don't think anyone would have cared. It wouldn't have. It would have been, been like, remarkable. It would have just been like actor with model fiance having yeah. sex. Like it wouldn't have been. It looks like he's doing kind of well now. He's. I saw him a picture of him. He's wearing Yeezys in it. You know, so he's got like expensive oh. shoes. Uh, but like there was a we. He, that was a, the tail end of like a dark phase. For, remember him on like the surreal life. I know we're talking about a lot of surreal life candidates yeah. here. Yeah, 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 we are actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was he was a little sad. He made me a little sad on the surreal life when he was like drunk. Right, I know, and he was like little... falling over. Yeah, oh, did somebody take care of him? Was that China's season? I, I know it's remember. they all really do, they blend, do together. blend together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaking of China, yeah, Trishel, et cetera, yeah. those people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so I have a question for my yes. last one. Can we include sex tapes that have not been released, but which have? Great veracity and rumored to exist. I would. I welcome you to include it, L- Lewis. How do you? I think I need to hear what the sex tape is, but I, I'm ready to sympathize. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Iggy Azalea and Wino. What? Oh. I've never even heard of this one. Who's the other person? Wino. He's a he's a rapper. Now, when she first got big, there was this whole thing that they were gonna that there was a sex tape. He was trying to peddle the sex tape of him and Iggy Azalea. And that she basically said, without admitting that it happened, was like, you can try, but I was not 18 years old. Oh. We dated each other. So pretty sure it exists. Yeah. But basically no one wants to touch that because even though Iggy Azalea looks like a woman, she's only like 22. Yeah, she's right, super right. young. Like, she's yeah. super young. So... That one I wanted to pick because one, I, like personal opinions aside, who wouldn't want to see a gazillia be- getting banged? Only after her 18th birthday, but absolutely. 100%. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah like yeah, no yeah. one's seen yeah. underage, but, but like, but, <laughs> but, but, uh, just for the physics she, of it. Yeah, I would for the physics, like, yeah, 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 she's beautiful. Just an intellectual um, curiosity more than anything. But also, like, because it was someone, I like this, it's a sex tape story, like, that it was someone was legitimately trying to hurt a woman who was who had become more successful. Yeah. Right. And she was able to go, no. She judoed him. Yeah. yeah. And like so that was also this other like sort of weird empowering thing of like and no one wanted to buy it. Would like it kind of like it to me that also I like that for that reason. That it kind of got shut down relatively quickly. Yeah. Um but that there was that Much narrative. Like her that, career shut down relatively quickly. Well, yeah, like, but yeah. doesn't she seem like she's doing? Fine? Doesn't she have like six million followers on Twitter? Now I hope she's this, okay. Like, her she's performing at state fairs and shit. I don't know. Like already, really? like I don't know if it's going that well for it. Yeah, I think really? I may have missed whatever. I think she's the kind of person who like tweeted maybe six or seven terrible things at some point. But it's like, why does she get all of the hate? Not. Fergie ever. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. like, right. yeah. yeah. Well, Fergie's wonderful and very nice. but uh, I'm no. sure she's <laughs> lovely. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. think Iggy Azalea is probably very nice too. And uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I think people, she caught so much flack for her affected Southern black accent that right. she raps with. Which is a little ridiculous, sure. Absolutely. But at the same time, it's like, the 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 way people were so mad, it's more like they were mad she got so big so fast. That's what it was. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they thought she was. They thought she was eating off of you know another culture struggle right, that yeah. she had never mm-hmm. experienced. Yeah. You know, and like co opted all that. Well, I mean, I Although she got put on by like Ti and them, like mm-hmm. that was the people in her corner. You know. Yeah, but I think like there was. I was like, oh, they were trolling because it's like let's get a six foot white, thin blonde well, woman. model, mm-hmm. like literally a model, literally a yeah. model. Give her a fake butt, and like you know write raps for her yeah and but she is i mean at the same time she's really talented there's like unplugged version of her doing that song work 
She really work is a great a, it's song. It's really great. Yeah. And she's not she's not a god awful rapper. She's no. not like she's not like Nicki Minaj, you know, no, but she's but no. she's uh okay at it. Well, I don't think we've seen the last of her. We may see her on I, that, yeah. That's exactly how I feel. It's yeah. like she'll have some sort of renaissance. Yeah, absolutely yeah. I'm like will now be. I'm like morbid like what happened to Iggy? Um she's still I mean she's fine. She's still around. She but uh her she she broke off her engagement with NBA basketball not good. I was going to say All Star, but not even close. <laughs> Nick Young, uh, who got caught by his basketball teammate. holder. Yeah, yeah. basketball current, current. I don't even know if he's on a roster. Nick Young. Uh, well, that that I mean that's your Iggy Azalea. I'm fine. I'm fine with that apocryphal. I will take it. Yeah, yeah. It. Uh, Lewis, it is now on you to make your fifth and final pick of the celebrity sex tape draft. Okay. Well, it's all coming out right here. Okay. <laughs> um, I just need to say that. Homosexuals have contrib- contributed so little to this art form yeah. in, in a way that hurts me. I just feel like we could have produced a lot. I feel like we could have done it not to not to invoke a, oh, a, a cliche. Oh, it's coming. It's St- coming. Tastefully. Oh, yeah, I know. Tastefully. It's yes. coming. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like, it's maybe it's just a matter of there aren't, the, you know, during the heyday of sex tapes, there weren't that many, you know, gay, super popular celebrities. But yeah. at the same time, it's like, you'd think Rupert Everett would have had something at some something point. Something would have snuck out. Right. Yeah. I'm still you know. mad he's gay. I know. He's I'm like, so, he, there was a point when he was like I'm a rad celebrity. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, so recently, though, because we're now in like Snapchatty world of like, you know, dicks are out, dicks are everywhere. Yes. Okay. There have been a few Olympians. Olympic male gymnast who had like some flashing going on and oh, my really? the one I've chosen is this Brazilian gymnast named Arthur Nori who was just like it's like a jack up video there's no noise it's not a spectacular production but I'm just saying it is a ripped dude jacking off in a camera mysteriously we don't get a lot of this in the sex tape world yeah. I don't know you know <laughs> I've needed it a lot of it on the other side of the screen right rarely in front of the camera right yeah. no 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 I mean a gymnast too you don't get much more ripped than that I know and also yeah. gymnastics is a sport where it's like it's these perfect men doing this rigid, rigid, rigid thing. And for uh, sometimes you're like, is this sexual or is this like pathetically repressed? You know, it's like yeah, soccer, which just, they're it? just letting it all hang out. Like soccer yeah. dudes are hot. Yeah. So when a gymnast like actually does let loose and like is like, oh, I like fucking everybody too. Yeah. It's like <laughs> really exciting for certain viewers. Well, it's crazy because their whole lives are about control. Right. It's like you, like you can have one grape. And then you have to do the Iron Cross for yeah. like forty-five minutes. Yeah, and, and and like their entire life is leading up to one event and one games and yes. all that stuff. You know, yeah. I have to wonder about being a gymnast jacking off because you must have very rough hands. Totally. You know what I mean? Just from just from like the uneven bars and all that shit. Please. It I mean, like you're that. obviously chalking a lot, but a lot of ch- I wonder if they yeah. chalk when they jack off too. I mean, they must. They have to do something. How is that? How is Bob Costas not on that? He, Bob, we need Bob Costas well, on that. We're jacking off. Real Arthur. sport. <laughs> <laughs> Real sports with Brian Gumbel should immediately do like how are these gymnasts jacking off? Thirty for thirty jacking off when yeah. you're a gymnast. Oh my god! What if I told you? Yeah. <laughs> they had they have. There's no dry jo sessions if you're if you're a gymnast. They just can't <laughs> exist at all. Oh man, just calloused rock like hands. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't like I just use a magic wand, so hand texture no difference. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Still just like you and your cyborg jack off yeah, sessions. Like, like, yeah, yeah. But by the way, it's, I think also, I don't know if we've touched on this yet, like athletes who were popular at one point having a sex tape come out, like the whole Tanya Harding world. Yeah. Of sex I almost tape. picked that one. Yeah. That was, that was what Galulian. I was going to say. It would have fit into your yeah. earlier theme. Yeah. yeah. It's just important that we incorporate that in some way. And I believe I've done it in a patriarchy destroying gay esque yes. way. You absolutely yeah. have. Yes. And, you know, it's 2016. Celebrate the Brazilian Olympics. Please. You know? yes. Yeah. Yes. Just because they're over doesn't mean we, we can't look back on them fondly. Uh, <laughs> Uh, excellent pick, Arthur Nori, the Brazilian yes. gymnast. No sound, just j- which is great because you can jack off to it at your parents' house when you're visiting without losing any of the experience. Right, but then you're concentrating no on the, the noise video. your old bed is making, which oh, is the true. worst. Yeah, it never creaked like that when you were a kid. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is now time for my final pick, the final pick of the entire draft. Uh, and I am going with I've got I've gone with blockbusters for the most part up until this point. I am now going to go with a, a tape that is a little bit apocryphal and also very personal to me. I'm going to take the Chelsea Handler sex tape. Oh, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My my former boss, one of my favorite people on the planet Earth, Chelsea Handler. And uh, for those of you that don't know, she uh, – the, the legend has it, and I think it has been confirmed, people have seen it, that she made a booking video that alternated between her having sex and her doing stand-up. God. 
God. Yeah. So, it's same. I mean, I mean, get, right. yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Same. Say right. Say <laughs> yeah. You and Chelsea Handler. I've never, I've never seen it. Even if I could, I would see watch it. it. I, I. That wouldn't... woman is fine as shit. Chelsea's I, gorgeous. Oh my god. In those fact, tits. there is. Are those you... our real titties? Yes. Oh 100% my god. Real. And they're out all the time. I know. Yeah. I love it. I love her. I love that she's famous and she's like, "Here's my tits." Yeah. You picture me so Look. drunk, I can't mm. fucking see straight. Like yeah. in fucking pile driver. Playing Fuck hammered it. table tennis in like oh. Barbados. She's amazing. Yeah. Okay. She. I can't just from working with her for like a year and a half, two years. I for some reason. All the sexuality fleet like I can't even think of her in that way. It's it's totally weird. She's such an alpha that it intimidates me, and my penis goes She's deep, very I, deep inside I, I, my I body. I did the round table twice on that show, yeah. and like when, okay, I don't know. She like looks at you when it's your time to talk. I mean, and it's Terrifying. like the wolf spot at you. I mean, it's like serious. It yeah, is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like a spotlight at a concentration camp. Mm-hmm. You're escaping. It's like fuck. It's te- it's terrifying. Shall I remember the first time I was on it, the Booker, this guy Michael Cox, he was like, "Don't get intimidated." And I was like, I wasn't until you said that. And now I am so terrified. Yeah. And she went out there and she doesn't look at you until it's your time to speak. Uh huh. You uh-huh. know, like during the commercial, she's reading a magazine or looking at her phone and she almost will never laugh at what you have to say. No, right. But if you yeah. can, you're good forever. I honestly think I got hired as a writer because she thought my body shape was interesting. She's like, here's a big, weird looking dude. And, and, and then, like, I turned out to be okay at it. Um, but yes, I'm taking her out of respect to my boss. One of the most generous, wonderful people I've ever met. And just a smart, fucking a smart, like, she. I think she knew who she was. She knew that she was a sexual person and that people would look at her and see, like, a blonde woman with big breasts and be like, "You're like, there's no way you're funny enough to go up at Largo or whatever the fuck. You know what mm-hmm, I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she took what she had and she was like, fuck it. Then I am that. Then I am that. And uh, made it and then became, you know. A mega successful person. Well, I like I like that she just owns everything she is. She was on some show and she's like, Oh no, like I've always looked older. Da 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 da. And it's yeah. like this thing that most women are like very sensitive about their age that she was just like she's very brutally like she dishes it out, but she's very willing to like immediately also like She's a fucking like, yeah, put it on she, herself. She's not unaware yeah. of herself in any way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, Unlike it's anyone awesome. I've ever met before, she's a boss. Like uh, I've never run across anyone who's that on like you know, on top of her own shit and just like, yeah, and upfront about it. Like, yeah, this is fucking me, you know, like yeah. take it or leave it. This is also a dumb thing to like about her. She kind of came to be through books she and did. then was like a comedian. It's just, it's like, it's like a weird kind of awesome but Her books yeah. were huge. Yeah, yeah. she got the, I she got the E show. I would to see this sex tape. Like that, yeah. like, well, what I, I will think say, that's an amazing pick. That's a would, snarly sex tape, I, I can tell you. I would love to see a sex <laughs> tape. I would love to see that. Yeah. Like someone, like I would just, I would love to know that one booker got that. She that probably, someone got a tape that was like, I'm sucking this guy's dick, and now I'm like telling some jokes, and then like cut to, like, that's amazing. She's probably telling <laughs> the guy how to hit it in the video right? and making yeah. fun of him for not doing it right. God oh, bless God, her. I love it. Wait, if you do, if you do, just want to, she was in a uh, softcore porn movie before she made before she like had her big break, just as like a, I need I need a I need a role, not like a not a, maybe not a full blown softcore porn, but she's in it doing like a simulated sex scene. Oh yeah. So you can find that. Sovereign, this oh. is our g- head gums gift to you. I, I, I like the idea exists? more of like the one that she spliced together herself, like as a fuck you to bookers. It's just jarring to see like Chelsea Handler like in in the, the soft golden light of like a soft core point. You're like, oh, that's weird. That's fucking <laughs> Chelsea. What's going on here? Um, <laughs> so that is my final pick. That concludes the uh, the celebrity sex tape, all fantasy, everything draft. Very quickly, I'm going to go over the uh, the our, our squads. Uh, Sovereign Sire, you started off with the Rob Lowe sex tape, and then went Amy Fisher, Joey Buttafuoco, and then Courtney Stodden, and uh, what was the guy's name? Vern Troyer. No, Courtney oh, Stodden with uh, uh, it's a solo. It's oh, her, oh, like... Courtney Stodden solo. That's right, that's right. Uh, and then Vern Troyer, and then the, the possibility of, the Iggy of an Iggy Azalea underage sex tape. Yeah. The vague concept of a sex tape that I accept. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was fully accepted. Uh, and then Louis Vertel, you went with Jen Lewis from Survivor and her model husband. And I did that because I'm brave. Because you're brave. <laughs> because you should be com- and you should be commended for it. Thank and you. voters should keep that in mind. And then you went with Colin Farrell. Right. You did that because you're gay. Due to intelligence. Yeah, due yes. to intelligence. <laughs> 
<laughs> bravery and intelligence. And then oh. Scott Stapp and Kid Rock, what was the impetus behind that? I got braver. You got braver. <laughs> Just when you think you had reached the heights of bravery, oh, you yeah. went Scott Stapp and Kid it Rock. It wasn't gay, but it wasn't ungay. It wasn't right. to, quote, to quote Lewis directly. <laughs> and then uh, you stayed in the uh, genre of music I'd rather not listen to and moved on to Brett Michaels. Right. Uh, due to beauty. Due yes. to beauty. <laughs> Just to a, a bit, the appreciation of pure beauty. And then followed up with Arthur Nori, the right. Brazilian gymnast, solo jack-off video. I recommend it. And you recommend it. Yeah. Uh, my draft uh, was the Hulk Hogan sex tape that ruined Gawker, Kim Kardashian and Ray J, Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson on a boat somewhere, uh, Paris Hilton, One this Night in Paris. This is a pretty solid lineup it's of superstar acts. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is, this is the traveling Wilburys of sex tapes. It really is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it is the, tra- by the way, the traveling Wilbury sex tape. Horrifying. Average. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then my final pick, Chelsea Handler's apocryphal uh, Please Book Me, half porn, half stand-up sex tape. And uh, that wraps it up. Again, you can go to vote. Uh, there will be a Twitter poll. As soon as this podcast drops, go to at Ian and Carmel. Don't, a few people I feel like have just been voting for me because it's on my Twitter page and you want me to be happy. I appreciate that. Don't do that. Go with your heart. Vote for what you actually believe in. And uh, – Lewis, Sovereign, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. You guys have fun? Oh yeah, this is awesome. No, I my, love, my I, mind is open. I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm exploding. I love talking about ideas. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, God, I'd, lo- I'd love to have you both back. Thank you so much for doing it. Thank, thank you. Thank you for listening to All Fantasy Everything. I've been your host, Ian Carmel. Tune in again next Thursday for another brand new episode. That was a HeadGum Podcast.